I got trapped under a big John Deere tractor. My hand got trapped underneath the wheel while I was making repairs to the tire and it did severe damage to my hand, to my right hand. And so for right where the tractor uh, was sitting on my hand is the amputation point where the doctors ended up having to take my hand. Uh, I still have a short piece of my thumb and a short piece of my hand and complete uh, complete function of my wrist. I'm still getting used to the new hand. Um, I love it. Uh, it just puts me closer to being 100% again. I'm still learning the uh, capabilities of it, learning what it can benefit me doing. I don't have feelings still, so I still have to keep a close eye on where where I'm what I'm grabbing with it, doorknobs, things like that. But uh, I'm getting, I'm getting more familiar with it all the time. <clears throat> I can use it, it assists me driving a vehicle. I can shift the vehicle. I can open doors better than uh, I could with, uh, with my claw. Just in general, it allows me to walk through public, walk through the mall or anything else, and um, I blend in, I got a hand. And like I said, I'm still learning what it's what I what it is going to help me learn how to do. I could catch a, a ball with it as long as there, as long as it wasn't like a line drive or a, a fast pitch. Uh, I could probably toss a ball. I don't think I could flat. You know, I wouldn't be able to pitch a ball or throw it a long throw it a long distance with it. It can. It would hold a. It would hold a uh, kitchen knife. Um, holding a coffee cup, it would probably hold it. Uh, I would be feared for, since I don't have any feeling of dropping the cup or tipping the cup and not realizing that I had and spilling it. So I don't hold uh, glasses or cups very often with it. Uh, it'll hold, I can pick up books, um, magazines, um, briefcase. I can run, uh, yeah, I can run wrenches, hold a screwdriver. There's a lot of things that I'm sure I'll be able to use it to do. I just haven't had a chance. I haven't had it long enough to to test it out and get comfortable with using it that way. I can hold a shovel um, as long as I don't have a real rough dirt bed that I'm trying to shovel, or as long as I don't get real aggressive with the shoveling, it will it will hold the shovel and, and, and assist real well. In late 99, early two, 2000, this is where I've been going. They're the only ones that have worked on me, so since they've been building me uh, a claw and repairing my claws for this amount of, you know, 18 years, 17, 18 years, um, and they just, uh, every, time, every time we build a new one, we take things that we've seen from the one I currently was using and improve it. And the one I'm wearing now, other than a little bit of a weight factor being heavy, is amazing. It works, it works great. Uh, it's as close to having a hand as uh, I've ever been since I lost my hand, and it's very durable. I can wear it out in the elements. I can tie my shoes. I can zip a zipper on a coat. Uh, I can do do it use it use it for just about everything that I need to do. And I'm hoping that with time, that's uh, where I'll be with this hand and with the improvements that they make as time goes on with these hands. I'm super excited to see the improvements that they, that they develop um, over time with us using these hands and learning the weak points and the strong points of, the, of these devices. It's amazing, it's truly amazing. I use the claw all the time. I mean, it's, it's, I use it so much that it's, I, uh, I forget. I mean, I, I, it's just part of me. Um, even when I went to Ohio to get this made, I'd show up with my claw on. 
and I didn't need to. I mean, I, there was no reason for me to have it on, but it, it's just a part of me. It's became a part of me. And uh, so I use it for uh, everything, everything. And, and I always have it on. You can ask my family. It's the only time I don't have it on is to sleep and shower. I don't wear it when I swim. I don't use it when I'm skiing either or uh, hunting and fishing. Those are the times I don't use it and everything else I have it on. In the line of work that I, that I do, I have it on all the time uh, and, and I, I work around high voltage electricity, um, I work around chemicals, I, I paint a little bit of concrete work, I work around boilers, I work around compressors and the claw holds up to mass variety of things that I do with my line of work, including the things I do at home. I have, life, I have um, horses at home and I can run out and grab my bell of hay and toss it without worrying about breaking it. It's super durable and it's been, it's really been, uh, it's made me more whole and uh, by getting this new hand has just added another, a new chapter to the whole thing and it, it, it's going to make me even more whole by having it. Your body adapts, it's kind of like putting on shoes every day. When I, did ha when I do have issues with it being uncomfortable, I bring it over and uh, we do a little sanding or we put in some padding, whatever the case may be and uh, make the changes that we need, that I need to be able to wear it comfortably. The only downside is on a 100 degree day, it's uncomfortable because of the temperature. And uh, that's not really any different than wearing a pair of hiking boots when you wish you had a pair of flip flops on. I mean, it's, uh, it's similar to the same thing, but for the most part, they've kept it We've been able to keep it very comfortable. And whenever I have issues that it's not, we, we make changes right away. I don't, I bring it right over and these guys make the changes we need to make and, and, uh, and get me going. They've been great. I've never had any problems with them. Anytime I've ever called, needed uh, any kind of repairs, um, they get me in, they get me, get me repaired or make the changes that have needed to be changed and, and uh, I'm back on the road and I'm back up and running. I haven't had any problems at all. What do you recommend? Oh yeah. Yep. For sure. No questions asked. I would recommend them to anybody that uh, has the same um, amputation that I do or legs or just needing splints built depending on what the, what your injury is um, I've had other friends that have came here and, and they're happy happy as well